All right, I'm going to do a real quick video here talking about uh, the fact that I have always taught the same thing about the Godhead. I used mistakenly, I have used the term Trinity. I should not have done that. Uh, that was a mistake. I should, you know, I didn't understand really what the whole Trinity thing was all about. So I started looking into it and started reading, you know, the catechism and things. Um, and so the pagan philosophical origin of this whole Trinitarian concept. But uh, just, you know, a lot of people say, oh, he's really going off the deep end and things. Uh, no, I've always taught this. The thing of the Godhead being body, soul, spirit, and one being. All right, God the Father, of course, being the soul, Jesus being the body, Holy Ghost being the spirit, one being. I've always taught that. Uh, here we have man, body, soul, and spirit. It used to be called Trinity. I changed that because I, I came out and said, hey, it's, I shouldn't be using the word Trinity. But uh, this was published on March 13th of 2013. The sermon was preached on June the 10th of 2012. All right, so just about six years ago is when I preached this thing. This was back at Bible, Belie Bible Believers Fellowship. Let's listen to a little bit of this. You can hear what I had to say. Explain what exactly a person is, how we are made up. Well, <clears throat> let's count that again. Body, soul, and spirit. What is that? That's three. Okay, you say, well, I thought you said just that's how somebody's made up, a person's made up. Well, a person's one, but they have three parts. Now, can anybody think of anything else that is similar to that? God. God has three parts, but he's only one. There's only one God, but he has three parts to him. And we're going to look about that in Scripture. I'm going to show you verses on the Godhead. Okay. I go on to say about, you know, let's also called the Trinity or something else like that, but like I said, I shouldn't have been using that term. But there you go. Martin Richling's Other Christ. This was February 1st of 2014. Listen to what I say. Well, let me explain something. The Godhead is made up of three. You got that? Body, soul, spirit. Now, the Bible says that we also have a body, soul, spirit. That doesn't mean that we are gods. It doesn't mean that we are like God as far as I'm on his level. Not even close. Not even infinitesimally close. I mean, we're talking... But we have a body, soul, and spirit. Now, let me ask you a question. The Trinity, the Godhead, who's the spirit? The Holy Ghost. Who's the soul? God the Father. Who's the body? Jesus Christ. Okay, you heard me say Trinity again, like I said, I'm not using that term anymore. But I said this back in 2014 over the whole Martin Richling scandal thing. Let me just show you something here. There's Greg Miller, nailed it, good teaching brother. Now he comes out and he attacks those of us that teach the biblical Godhead. Uh, you can get down through here. Um, uh, a lot of these people, you'll see that uh, they were agreeing with me back then uh, now you know now they call me a heretic for preaching the exact same thing now uh, this one especially she she lies about me like crazy believe this thank you Brian I believe what you say and the word I Martin Rich Martin Richling has a prison mentality and mean spirit I listened to him once and he was mean but now she's on other videos and things. I've seen her in other comments of things attacking me and calling me a heretic and all kinds of stuff. Just a few years ago, I'm fine and everything's great and wonderful. And Greg Miller as well. And there's a lot of others too, you know, on that. Here's the thing on Chris LaSala. This was April 5th, 2017. Right? I disabled the comments on this one, but... Let's continue reading here in Colossians chapter 1. Verse 15, who is the image of the invisible God? Again, LaSalle has no, no comprehension of this as a lost man. He doesn't understand the Godhead. It's three. You have a body. You have a soul. You have a spirit. When you look at God the Father, you see the body. Who's the body? Jesus Christ. What's the spirit inside there? The Holy Ghost. Lost people don't understand this. Okay, over a year ago, why all the, the, the blow up and everything else and Denninger's teaching heresy and everything? I've been preaching this stuff for years, going the whole way back 
to 2012 before I was married. But I'm the heretic now and everything else and stuff. Here's the thing on the preacher of rapture. I didn't talk about the Godhead in it, but you know, you get down through here and you see there's ex Catholics for Christ, James Patel. There's Ed Fenninger. Imagine that. Amen, brother. Great job. See, all these people that had come out now and attacked me, all these people were once fans of this ministry. You, can, you know, I'm not going to show any more there, but isn't that weird? But I'm the one that fell away. I'm the one that's gotten messed up. Just showed you proof that I think almost all of these people at one point in time were fans of this ministry, friends of this ministry, and they've come out and stabbed me in the back. And I've been preaching the same thing since 2012. Right there it is. Right here's the sermon. So, um, all the all the things out there, people calling me a hypocrite and all this other stuff. Uh, I don't think I'm the hypocrite. All right, I'm sticking to what I've always preached on this thing. And if I change something, if I change, you know, whatever I've I've been teaching throughout my ministry, I'll come out and I'll admit it, and I'll admit to being wrong on things. Be careful who you listen to.